cloudy and mild, cloudy and mild, cloudy and mild. And then we get a weak storm system that comes through Thursday night into Friday. Pretty ho-hum weather week. Well above seasonal and temperatures are going to be climbing as we go through the week. Let's talk about where we are right now temperature wise. Sitting at minus one currently here in Toronto. Minus two in Windsor. It's minus three in Sudbury. A lot of cloud cover. Basically most of the Great Lakes have a lot of cloud cover over it. And that is going to be the case as we go through the day tomorrow. Another gray day expected. Likely going to see that cloud through Wednesday and through Thursday and then Thursday night. We'll see a storm system moving through. Any precipitation we see, lake driven. We could see a few wet flurries through parts of the Niagara region along the shores of Lake Huron and Georgian Bay. So Perry Sound uh, areas all the way from Kincardine, Sable Beach down in through Goderich have the potential of picking up a little bit of accumulation. Could see a brief rain shower later in the day Wednesday from London to Windsor. That'll steer clear of the GTA. And again, we'll just get stuck with the cloud cover. It's minus three with a wind chill of minus eight in the morning. At midday, we have temperatures that are up to zero. Winds out of the west-southwest, so that's your wind direction. That could generate that lake effect. Showers and flurries coming in off Lake Erie, also off of Lake Huron. And could even see a little bit of that flurry activity into areas like Prince Edward County up along the St. Lawrence. One degree for the daytime high. Up to three by Wednesday, four in the forecast on Thursday, and then overnight with temperatures around one degree, we'll see a bit of a rain-snow mix that will continue into the morning there for Friday. We're dry again into the weekend, but we're still into this fairly mild pattern with those temperatures that are going to be sitting around plus two to zero as we go into the end of the weekend and into the first part of next week. So no major pattern shifts, and we're going to get through at least the first half of January relatively unscathed. Now, as we head toward the end of the month, signs are appearing that the polar vortex may be coming a visit. If you want to read more about it, head over to citynews.ca and read the article I put up today. That's a check on your forecast.